Make sure your steering shaft nut is reinstalled and torqued to factory specifications. And that was very straightforward instructions. Welcome back to another episode of the Bucket List S13. Today is episode two, and as you can see, we got no way to do it. No, do it. No. So yeah, I forgot to mention that I, I, the the engine. It's actually over there. Excuse the Miata. The engine's actually sitting over there, along with the transmission still attached. If you look back where you can kind of see me sanding on the underneath of the car, you can actually see that the engine and the transmission is not in the car. So I thought that was kind of funny. I just completely forgot to mention that I pulled the engine. But there is no engine in it right now. A couple of Nissan SR20 motors will pull a premium one week before race wars, huh? I also got a good deal on an Optima battery for it, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, there is no engine in it right now. Um, the, in the new engine is sitting over here. The KA24DE. It's actually in really good shape. I didn't see any oil leaks on it. There's still some miscellaneous stuff that I've got to buy for it. Today we're not working engine wise like I said in the last video. We've got a cool kind of side project that we're going to do today. We've got a Grip Royal wheel and a hub adapter to install. I think it's garbage anyways. When I was at Gridlife Midwest a couple of weekends ago, I was hanging out with some of the Grip Royal crew, Scott, and I can't remember what his friend's name, I'm so sorry, but uh, I was talking to Scott. Over at Grip Royal, they are like the 240 gurus. They've got a whole bunch of S chassis, done a lot of S chassis builds, so I was kind of getting some advice from them. And I kind of mentioned how I've already got one Grip Royal wheel, it's right back there, but I really wanted to get a custom one made for S3, for the S13, because I thought it would be really cool to have that little touch on it. And he's like, dude, I got you, man. Um, let's do something cool. So a couple of days ago, got a really cool shipment in the mail. So here's what we're working with. Look at that. What we've got right here is the Grip Royal Royal GT in perforated leather. This is the 330 millimeter wheel. They make it in 330 and 350. Scott recommended the 330 for the 240, so I went ahead and did that. It is also awesome custom edged. We are S3 Magazine, so it's got our S3 logo right here at the bottom. And if you didn't already know, we also have an apparel brand that's kind of sistered with S3 that's called Still Hood. So this is our Miami Vice, that's what we call it, the Miami Vice font for the Still Hood logo. I actually have this same wheel, but in suede. It's the same 330 millimeter wheel, except this one isn't etched. Um, this one's in perforated leather, this one's in suede. Here's what the suede looks like up close compared to the perforated leather. They're both awesome wheels. I like them both a lot, but I decided to go with the perforated leather for this build just specifically because this is going to be kind of like a, a clean, street, rowdy street car versus, you know, more of a track car. So I thought that the perforated leather would fit perfectly. God, such a good looking wheel. The S3 logo on the bottom turned out perfect. And so did the Still Hood, don't get me wrong. If you're curious about some of our Still Hood merchandise, you can actually go to s3mag.com and check out some of the stuff that we've got for Still Hood right now. I know we've got like two t-shirts, two or three t-shirts on there right now. And then we've also got these new, these new jet tags. Navy blue with yellow stitching, says Still Hood on the front. It's got a logo of a broken mailbox on the back. People really like those a lot. Here's some of our old shift knobs that we made, this Still Hood knob. This is the version one shift knob. It's really cool. I like this one a lot. I wish it, I wish it was the thread pattern for the 240, but it's not. And then here's the version two shift knob. One, two, three, four, fifth on it. These are cool. I didn't like it as much as I like the the version one knob, but I think we're talking about bringing these back, which I really hope we do, because I really want one for the Nissan, um, and that that's just an NRG one right there. I'm really, I'm so excited for this steering wheel. God, perforated leather was the right move, definitely. Enough about the wheel, though. We also have a Grip Royal short hub adapter, so... Just like that. Already got your hookups for your horn button. So I have had this steering wheel off before, so it's gonna, like, all the bolts are out. It should be really easy to pull the bolts are out, right? I know I did. Put the bolts back in. 
there it goes. So like I said, I've already had this off before. Um, so like nothing's, but like the steering wheel, this should just, yeah, like it's already loose. Now what do I need? I need a hub adapter. Just like that, and the little nut goes on. Just like that. Is there like instructions in here? There is. I should probably read this though. Make sure your steering shaft nut is reinstalled and torqued to factory specifications. That was very straightforward instructions. What I'm hooking up right now is for the horn. And it should be that easy on an S13 anyways for the horn. Let's hook it. Get sucked up by a nader. This should boom. <laughs> awesome, man. Now all that's left is the horn button. All right, so now what we gotta do is install the grip oil horn button. It comes with like another ring that you can put around it, but I'm just gonna put it in kind of like that in the center. Now all we have to do is hook these puppies up. I wonder if there's a better way to get that to hold down. Regardless, it works. Let's go put this in. That's beautiful. Look at that. Even with it all the way down, look how much neem room I have. Oh, that's it. I was a little worried. I thought that the grip royal, I thought that the grip royal hub adapter might be a little bit too big, but now that it's in the car, it's exactly what it needed. Like this could not have worked out any better. You saw what it looked like before, like how my knees were hitting the steering wheel. And now look, look how much room I have now. God, it just looks so good. I'm gonna put a pole up. Should we, if if we did make the, if we made like a collaboration run with Grip Royal, would you guys buy these or would you not? Because we've seriously been thinking about kind of doing it. Because we've uh, done a run of old still hood wheels before. There's actually uh, one of the old wheels on Wooly CRX, if you saw the CRX video. Um, but should we do a run of these perforated leather wheels? Would you buy it? Well, anyways, guys, I think that about sums it up for the second episode of the Bucket List S13 build. Now we've got that box out of the way, got the wheel in the car, and although it's just a steering wheel, it just gives me so much more motivation to really do something with this car because I've, like, now I've officially modified it. Like, we've taken that step to do something different than the car other than taking bolts that were there off and putting bolts back on now something's different it's refreshing it just gives me that motivation that i need to do, to really do something uh do something big with this thing and I'm, I'm super excited if you guys have any advice if you've got any opinions if you have any recommendations for things that i should do to the car be sure to drop a comment like i want to know what you guys have to think so if you're if you're watching this you're invested in this series just like i am leave a comment let's talk about it let's have a discussion i'm down for that just you gotta you gotta leave it there to get this series out to more people you also need to hit that like button i know i forget to sometimes too i'll like a video and then just click off of it after it's over but please be sure to click the like button that way it gets that way the youtube algorithm -y thing will recommend it to more people and get some more people on board because the more interest that is shown in this series the more money and the more time that i have to invest in it 
So I would really appreciate that if you guys would share it with your friends, comment, like, subscribe, do all of that. You have no idea how much that means. Once again, thanks to Scott and the guys at Grip Royal for making this sick will. It's awesome. Like I said before, it gave me the motivation that I needed to really kick it on this car and do something really awesome. Well, I guess that's it for now, guys. But until next time, I'm Hunter Rollins. We're S3 Magazine. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.